Now you're signed to Rockefeller. All right, no doubt. Now, was it was it straight Rockefeller or was it under Beanie? Or? No, actually, it was Rockefeller Dev Jam. It wasn't nothing to do with state property on my contract. Okay. They end up finagling me into state property. It just, matter of fact, it just... It was natural, uh, a natural thing that happened because I knew we Beans knew we knew of each other. Like I was a fan of Beans. I wouldn't have mind being there with him. Freeway is from my hood. It's my family. You know what I'm saying? I knew Oskin on Sparks. We all from North Philly. It was I was with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, fuck that. This is my this is I supposed to be right here. Dope. Dope. Cause Dane would ask me, like, yo, how you feel about being with them? You cool with them? I'm like, yeah, I'm cool with them. I know all these niggas already. So Dame didn't know that he didn't know our relationship. You know, he's in New York. He ain't know. I said, I know these niggas. He's all right, cool. You're going to be with Rockville. Fuck it up, man. Yo, you famous, man. You're going to be famous. He's talking all that fly shit to me. Right. But it was encouraging, though. It was dope to have him. So it was really Dame Dash. He's the reason why you got on. I mean, he, he, yeah, he sparked it. Yeah. He sparked it. As far as with paperwork and the uh, putting the money and everything, getting that budget open for me and all that, Dame. Dame Dash. Word. That's what's up. So now you're on Rockefeller. Mm -hmm. Now, did you meet Jay at this point or no? I would see Jay a lot. Like he he'd be in and out, okay. like in and out the studio, in and out the office, and you know, at the time, you know, I had, I used to get that weird feeling like everybody else used to get around that time when Jay come in, like oh shit, you know what I mean? So, but we never really, really, really had had no type of. Rapport, you know what I'm saying? At all, it was just like, "Hey, Petey Crack, what's up, man? Welcome, man." All of that, you know what I'm saying? But like the whole Philly state property thing is is rocking out heavy, and and you start getting your songs out there. You know, like like what what was that? What was the, like the first song that you're really? You My were, first joint was on? one for Petey Crack. Yeah, when we did that together, uh, Dame, it was right around the time of a uh, paid and full soundtrack. And it just happened like right, everything just started falling in place right on time. Like I got signed right when they was working on uh, Pay in Full and Dame just slapped it on the soundtrack and shot a video for it. Hmm. I just got signed, like I, the automatic video from the rip. So my name started cracking really fast. I didn't really, it's just weird. It's like I had worked a long time throughout the years to get to that point. But once I got to that point and it happened, everything else was like a piece of cake. I just had to rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't no more struggle, really. Well, you had the machine behind you. The super machine, yeah. So, of course, uh, hell, it's going to be hella easy then. Right. But uh, he shot the One for PD Crack video for me, and then that started buzzing. And then I believe after the One for PD Crack, well, at the same time when One for, One for PD Crack was rocking, I was doing these Crack File mixtapes in the hood with a lot of freestyles heating the streets up, and they did a lot for me. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think after that, my big joint after that was uh, Flipside really put the stamp on it. That yeah. was the next one after One for PD Crack was Flipside. Another big song right there. Yeah, so... Flipside, yeah, that shit was hot. So around that time, I was getting a lot of radio love, you know what I'm saying? And you know, once you get the radio, especially around that time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Radio was popping, and then the hits just start falling into place, like the Got to Have It, and... uh. Um, the Neo song, Stay, yep. and they just started, you know, it seemed like every time I would make a banger and then it'd be a long span that I was trying to work on the next joint and I was kind of stressing about it. Like, because every artist stresses about his next banger. I don't give a fuck who you is. And uh, they was just, they was just popping up. Like, mm -hmm. as soon as I think the shit was, like I had seen Jay one time at, uh, at Bean's trial and I had got locked up. After the flip side thing, well, was it flip side? Uh, yeah, I got locked up after the flip side thing. Locked up for what? Uh, firearm possession. Okay. For the gun possession. But uh, I seen him at court, and he was like, damn, man, you had him, man. You dropped the ball. I'm like, dropped the ball? Jay-Z told you Jay that. Jay told me that, yeah. He's like, what's up, Pedro, man? You had him, man. You dropped the ball, dog. I said, I ain't, it ain't over. <laughs> I'm just warming up. I was just getting started. You know what I'm right. So I'm like, drop the ball. What are you talking about? But anyway, uh, I think the next joint we ended up on uh on uh what was that next? Um I think it was Bean's album. I had a couple songs on there like Flatline and Got to Have It and it was just hitting the radio. Well, you were on Blueprint too, right? Uh I'm on like 
a couple bars on a song. Yeah. We're all like a couple bars in on a uh, as one song. Yeah. But we got a plaque for that shit. So yeah, I am on Blueprint too. Exactly. Yeah. You're getting placements. Right. You don't have any monster songs, but you're getting songs that people are fucking with. No doubt. You're on albums that are selling and everything else right. like that. And I'm part of this whole big... Uh, movement. Movement, yeah. Yeah, so, for Rockefeller you know, Records. The shows and everything was really... Uh, it was really crazy. Tours, consistent tours mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Absolutely. So, so you're starting to have legitimate money coming in. Right, yeah. You know, you yeah. could leave the street shit alone and you could actually support yourself. Definitely, yeah.